Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. Hello everyone, welcome to another JDA tutorial, um, I'm Didos, and uh, we're getting right on. So if you didn't watch last uh, episode, then um, you should probably go do that first, but a quick recap. We just set our bot up, make sure, made sure it was online. Um, as you can see right here, it is online right now. Um, before watching or doing anything from this video, I highly recommend you go do that first so you can actually have a bot to work on. So today we're going to be going over events, how to do them, and just a simple hello and hi message. So. Let's create our class um, named, uh, I don't know, hello there. So now for a class to register as an event class, we need to make sure it extends listener adapter, extends listener adapter. Now the reason for this is that if we had just any class that um, had a method that used guild message received event, then it would basically register everything as an event. And they want to make sure that it follows the interface so it can run that method. So let's create um, a public void on guild message received uh, 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 received um, so here we have this method and we need to add um, parameters so guild message received event and I like to do event because it's self-explanatory so basically what this is saying is um, since this is um, an event class anytime someone sends a message it'll run whatever's in this method so let's say uh, well, first, you want to get into the habit of doing this. So you want to create a string array, um, which I will explain in a bit. Um, event .get message, which is getting the message. .get content raw, which is getting the text of the message. And dot .split um, space. So basically what this is saying is it's making a list of strings. Um, and the list of strings is uh, split by every space. So basically... This right here is getting the raw text of the message, and this is splitting the message into spaces. So, let's say here, let me give you an example. I said, hello, TSC, Discord. So, for every space, it's splitting the words and adding the separate words into the array. So, this would be the first word in the array, this would be the second, and this would be the third. Now Java goes on a 0, 1, 2, 3 base, so args 0 would be hello because it's the first, args 1 would be TSC, and args 2 would be Discord. Um, it's different than normal numbers, I guess, but um, you get used to it. So we're going to check if the first word of the message is hello. So then we'll have the bot uh, respond. So event.getChannel. We need to uh, get the channel that the message was sent in. Dot send message. Um, and we'll say hey there. And dot q. Now dot q is really important. And I guarantee you it's 99% of errors that you will get. Um, Dot Q basically allows the bot to do whatever it's trying to do. So sending a message, giving someone a role, creating a channel. You need to put dot Q at the end of anything that a bot is doing itself. So now we need to make sure this registers as an event listener. So let's go here to JDA dot add event listener. Uh, new hello there. 
So we need to make sure that um, hello there registers as an event listener. So um, we need to do JDA dot add event listener and then new hello there, which is the class. So let's restart the bot and let's say hello. And there we go. Now it says, hey there. So now a common uh, mistake, maybe not common, but a good way to practice um, for debugging. So let's say this said hello there. Oh, oops. So since it's saying hello there, hello is um, the first word, so it'll say hello there again, and it'll just be stuck in an endless loop of saying hello there. So we need to check if event.getMember, which is getting the member that sent the message, um, dot get user, which is getting the member's Discord user. Um, dot is bot. Now that's checking if it is a bot, and let's check if it's not a bot. So if it's not a bot, then it will send the message. So let's restart. Um, hello, and see it says hello. Hey, hello there. So. If I were to remove this, it would just say hello there over and over and over. So, now let's say we wanted it to say hello DDoS, like hello my name. So, let's let's remove this and we'll say plus event.get member, which is the user who sent the message, dot get user, which is the Discord user, dot get name. And then we'll add an exclamation mark. So now this should say hello DDoS. So let's restart that and we will say hello. Hello DDoS. There we go. So now let's say we want to change our nickname. Um one real boy. Alright, so now let's say we wanted it to say our nickname, because if we say hello. Oh oops. It's saying hello Dito still because that's the Discord user's name. Now um, we want it to say the nickname. So dot get member is returning the member in the guild itself, not the Discord member. So we can say dot get nickname. Um, and remove that. All right, there we go. So let's restart the bot. And if I say, oh, oops, hello, it'll say hello, one real boy. So, um, yeah, there we go. Now we have uh, the bot is responding to us. Um, and this uh, event in specific is very useful for commands, which is why you want to get in the habit of using this. Um, next time we will be going over how to uh, make use of events and how to um, make you have for loops to your advantage and different Java functionalities um, to help better your bot. So I hope you guys enjoyed. If you do have any questions, leave it in the comments or um, join the TSC Discord and let us know. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll catch you next time.